Oh no, I blew up the Jagger end doing burnouts. What am I gonna do? No, no, I didn't burn up, blow up the rear end doing burnouts. But here's the Jaguar rear end. I'm putting new rotors on, brake rotors on. So you gotta drop the whole rear assembly out to change the brake rotors. Yep. It's fucking serious engineering, but you don't need no specialty tools to do it. It's fucking pretty cool. Yeah, you don't need any specialty tools. It's basically wrenches. So here's the old disc right here. See, look, it's got two steel plates on the outside of it. Hardened plates. 1973. And here's the ones I ordered and Yes, I measured they are the same size. Or, this one's just a wee bit fatter. So, here's your Jagger and Pretty cool. Got a lot of the grease out. 50 years with the grease. So what I did, I purchased This year ran from a junkyard for 135 bucks and just switched them out. Well, that was going to. Well, I went through this one. Since you gotta pull it all the way out anyway. So, the one that's in it right now has a higher gear ratio, the taller gears. This one has a lower gear ratio. And I'm pretty sure it's a limited slip because. open diff doesn't allow you to have rubber on both sides of the car so all you people peg leg haters um it hooks up locks up this is this we're in so that's what i'm doing put new brake rotors put pads new joints in the drive shafts and um Cleaning it all up, getting all the muck out of it. And I got the good KYB shocks there. Actually, I got it, when I pull that rear end out, I'll put the KYB shocks on this back on back on are on this, so I should say so. That's what's up. In any case everybody was wondering. That's why it can do burnout so good. That's my secret to doing burnouts. <laughs> All right, later.